In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP SmartTank 580 to a mobile device. In this video, I'm using the 580 model of printer, but this should work, of course, for all other HP and HP SmartTanks, as they do follow the same system, and the uh, internal wiring as well is very similar, if not the same, so it should work exactly the same way. I'm also using iPhone for this, but this process will work as well for Android, as you just need to use the um, HP Smart app. Now, if you're not sure which one this is, then you can uh, check out our other video where I teach you how to download it and where to get it from. Uh, if that's still not um, enough, then you can go onto the HP website and from there you'll find a link to download the app from the App Store and then you can download it. Now, if you're opening up the app for the first time, you'll need to make an account, which is a fairly easy process. All you'll need is an email and to set up a password and then you should be good to go. But in this video, I'll be showing you what to do past those steps. So if you uh, need help with putting ink in your printer, making an account with HP or anything like that, then feel free to check out those other videos before moving on to this one. But for now, we're just going to connect the printer to a mobile device, and then I'll show you what you can do from the app as well. So to um, get started, make sure that your printer is plugged in and it's gonna want to be switched on to make sure the power light is a full a uh, consistent white light. If it's flashing, then it may be doing something. So just wait for it to stop flashing, or you can uh, press X to cancel whatever process it's doing, and that should uh, leave you with a consistent power light. Now this just means that the printer is turned on. You'll notice now that I have a consistent pow uh, internet symbol as well. This is because this printer is already connected to a uh, Wi-Fi supply. So you'll need to make sure that that's done as well before doing this. Uh, there is a way to connect the printer to a Wi-Fi supply through the app, but uh, for now we're just going to connect it uh, based off the same internet supply. So the uh, printer now is ready to go. We're going to move on to the mobile device. So at this point you should have the app downloaded. This is it, the HP Smart app. And what you want to do is just go onto this, and uh, once you've made your account you should have this home page here and there won't be any printer assigned currently. And what you can do is click on setup. You'll be given two options. So if it's a brand new printer, you haven't connected to the internet yet, you haven't done anything, you'll go through there. But uh, we've done that in another video, so feel free to check that out. And then for this video, we will be connecting to a printer that's already on the network. So you'll go on here, and then it will bring up all the printers in your area that you can connect to. Now just make sure that it's the correct model. As you can see, they're both HP Smart Tanks, but this is the 510 series and this is the 580 to 590 series. And this is the 580 printer, so make sure that it's the correct one. Obviously, if you're using a different printer, then this may come up as differently for you, so just double check what model you're using. And you're just gonna connect, and it should seamlessly sync up with the app. And then once that is synced, you have a plethora of different options available on the website of what you can do. So you can print documents, photos, scan, um, print off a copy of a scan, and many other uh, options that you can do. You can also adjust the settings here from all of these different options. Uh, you can maintain the printer as well by doing different quality checks and uh, alignments. So that's a, a useful tool section here that you can use. Uh, this is a really useful thing to know how to do. So I go through this in a bit more detail as well in another video. So feel free to uh, go and check that out if you wanna know how to use the app a bit more. So that is now connected to the mobile device and the printer should be good to go for all of your printing, scanning and copying needs. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, leave us some feedback in the comment section below as well if you have anything you'd like to say or uh, any questions as well as anything you wanna see in the next video. I really do appreciate all the feedback you can give us. Uh, my name is Pat and this is Printers with Pat. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.